eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> okay. So, does this work? The fairy tale king bids you to sit down in front of him. He tells you that he wants you to build him a magical castle. He's got enough money to pay for ten stories. So this is one possibility. But he says, no, you can't do that because two of the towers are the same height. He wants all of the towers to be different heights. He is eccentric. Let's see. Does this work? Yes, this works because here we've got a tower of height one, three, four, and two. So that does work. And oh, it's the same height as this one. Ah. Oh. No. Four. Four. Four here and five here. They look the same height. Aren't they the same height? There's four here and five there. Oh. Ah, there, there are five there. Yeah, you're right. The fairy tale king doesn't only want to know one solution to his problem, he wants to know all of the solutions to his problem. That's going to give your students a headache. They, they're going to have to get organized to find all of those solutions. They might also come up with some nice questions. For example, they might ask, is this a different solution? Or is it the same solution? Well, you'll have to ask the fairy king and I'll leave that up to you what your answer is. If you decide that 3421 is a different answer to 1342, well, then you're in for a lot of solutions to the puzzle. So you might decide that that is that those two are actually the same. Are you ready? Yeah. Get set. Go. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one. Okay, zero. Do you think you've been successful? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one. Hey, this is kind of like a staircase of buildings that you've designed. Did it work? Yes. Yes, it worked. They're all of different heights. Let's look at two ways that children have organized their results. In this case, we're not considering that 731 is different from 713, so order doesn't matter. Okay, so here, the way that it's being organized is uh, the students at the, have put at the very top the single solution that just has one tower. Under that, they've put all of the solutions that have two towers, all of the solutions that have three towers, and lastly at the bottom, the single solution that has four towers. So, for example, this is 6, 4, and it belongs in the second row because there's only two towers. Another way that students organized was by the highest tower. So in the top, they put the single tower of height 10. Next, they put the single solution with a tower of height 9. Then, single solution with a tower of height 8. Then, the two solutions with a tower of height 7 the two solutions with a tower of height 6, the two solutions with a tower of height 5 as the highest, and then the single solution with a tower of height 4 as the highest. This is a rich activity to get your students organized about mathematics. Okay, come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. What do you think? Did it work? No. Yes. No? Yes. Are they of no. different heights or, or yeah. some of them are the same? Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. You have, that's acceptable. But have you seen this solution before? Yeah. I think the first group came up with this solution too. Yeah. One of the things about mathematics is that sometimes you have to be really organized in, in your results. 
What I want you to do whenever you go back to your classrooms and you're working with this sometime today or tomorrow, I want you to find all of the solutions for this problem. And that's going to mean that you're going to need to be very organized to find all of the solutions. Okay? If you decide that they are different, here are the 24 different solutions for 1, 2, 3, 4 height towers just organized in different patterns.